Inside for Jalen Cannon, back outside for Jones. Top of the key, Tyreek Jewell for three. And Jewell who comes in averaging backcourt. Davon Barnett in seven foul zone up front. And Barnett, who's got range for a big man. Here, St. Francis up five to two early. Here's Kane Broom underneath, taking it strong to the rack. Yourself, because you force people to give you a step or two on offense, but when you give him a step, he can shoot the three. Cannon for Jewel, a fadeaway three is an air ball. The Pioneers don't clean up underneath. Broom get up and fight for that rebound, but he's boxed out by AMD Fall. Stolen! by Broom, he missed the first, the second, he gets, and one! That's what we need, a body on a body here. Off the screen, here's Broom. Oh, Underneath, he's wide open. Filip Nowitzki ties it off the look from Broom. Finish, what a screen! Kelly for three, good! After a bone crunching pick! That situation, unless you're not gonna use one for the rest of the half. Jordan Allen, reverse layup, gets the friendly roll. And up your offense, you got a three point lead. Jones spinning, losing control, but he gets it back. Fall, the right hand runner over Nowitzki. Allen and Cannon's gonna be a battle all day. 10 minutes to play in the first half. Here's Kane Broom to the rim. What a tough to the missed dunk. The Pioneers open up a look. Glowiak for three. Steve Glowiak. Boy, they've, mi <laughs> they've missed a lot of shots in that circle this afternoon. Look right. at that. The great float pass underneath Jordan Allen. Good. Jones bounces it out to Cannon for Sanabria now into the corner, 4-3, and bingo. Eunice Hopkins from Wallingford, Glowiak from New Britain, and now Broom from East Hartford. Nowitzki, what a look. He comes from slightly far. Sanabria underneath for Cannon, defended by Nowitzki. Gaetano ahead for Kelly, fast break. Evan, Gaetano open for three, and it's good. And Phil Goddard, student with two years of eligibility. Here at Sacred Heart, Allen going for the steal. Inside to Andy Fall who lays it in. He's Cannon backing in on Allen. Brent Jones, the kick out, Sanabria for three. Helping out Evan Kelly defensively on Jones to Jewel, the jump and the make. What an unbelievable good possession coming out of the break. Kelly for Barnett, and Barnett will lay it in. No, sounded like he got some arm, but I guess he got all ball. Jones trying to Thread it through the keyhole, stolen by Broom in transition with Kelly. Broom, the take and one. Didn't really make sense to me, but I'm not wearing a striped shirt. Cannon for three, and Cannon launches one. Yes, you don't want to be the obvious emotional candidate because in a game like this, you're going to get picked apart. And with five on the shot clock, can thinking. Loyak inside for Allen. That has to be a foul. No foul called. Allen gets the he hits both. Free throws, and Tyreek Jewell sends one to Cannon, and Jalen Cannon, not foul, and the rebound corralled, now this time by Fall, into the paint for Jewell, off the window, good wow. and one, a foul call. Winding up for an entertaining finish to this one, here's Nowitzki from Gaetano, and he banks it. Team, coming not long. Great work by Antonio Jones. that point, right, I mean, Sacred Heart doesn't want to let this lead go anywhere, so now it's back to four, and now they can breathe a sigh of relief. Kelly, foul zone and Barnett up front. Now Kelly the take, the pull up, jumper. Sanabria outside, eight on the shot clock. Jones making his move, throws up a wild scoop shot, wow. and it goes. Thanks, Randy, here with Evan Kelly. Evan, 18 points today. Talk about what was working for you out there on the floor today. Uh, I just tried to be aggressive tonight. Uh, I wasn't aggressive enough last game. So I felt like I needed to come out and assert myself a little bit more. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough because we lost by two. So you lose a close game, and it was a hard-fought game. There was a lot of intensity, a lot of aggression. A few calls go your way. The outcome could be a little bit differently. But how do you take this loss, put a positive spin on it, and prepare for your game on Monday night? Uh, how we take this is we got to learn how to clamp down at the end of games. And also at poor halftime, we got to learn how to stick the nail in the coffin and get a lead to 20 instead of letting it dwindle down to 12 and going to halftime with a 12-point lead instead of a 20-point lead. All right, Evan Kelly will be back in action 7.30 Monday night right here on Coach by Court. We'll send it back to Randy, and we'll have Coach Latina in just a minute. Here with Coach Latina. Coach, another really tough loss uh, at the end of a game in, by single digits. You guys have been working on 
figuring out how to kind of hone in and hold on to these leads. You had a really aggressive effort tonight. Talk about the game. Well, you know, I, I thought it, there was two types of game we, we, we thought we were going to see. A little bit of a wrestling match, a little bit of a track meet. And we thought, like, if we can make it more of a track meet than a wrestling match, it's to our advantage. But we knew we'd have to win the wrestling match once in a while. And we were for most of that game. And they, they kind of imposed their physicalness on us. And we didn't respond. We felt like the w only way they were going to beat us in the second half was to, was to kill us on the glass. And that's what we did. We, we couldn't, we couldn't uh, do enough to hold them off the glass. But we still had some chances. You know, we, can get, we need to get one stop or one score. And we come up short on both ends. And I thought we played pretty good defense. Kid makes a tough shot. Got to tip your hat to him. I thought we got a couple pretty good looks that were just as makeable as though as his, and we didn't make it, and that's the difference. So it's a you know very fun, uh, small margin. I think they're a good team. I do think they're the best team in the league, and uh, hopefully we learn from this and get better. It's a long season. Absolutely. You're going to get another shot at them later on down the year. You start in the first half shooting 63%. You shoot 27.6% in the second half. Obviously, that had a little bit to do with it as well. For a team that has shot so well, what do you tell your guys when you do hit these moments when you're struggling from the floor? we got to find a way to manufacture points. Either get to the free throw line, get some stops, get some baskets in transition, give up a good shot for a great shot. So when you're not scoring and that happens, you have to figure out a way to manufacture points. What St. Francis and New York does is they throw it at the basket and go get it and go get it until they score. Well, we got we got to kind of take a page from their book and figure that out. So uh, disappointing, boy, but I'm proud of our guys, the way they battled. We just uh, we just were you know, one, one play too short. They do battle, and it seems like every game that you play is a battle. It's not a lopsided loss or a lopsided win. So going into the locker room today when you leave me, what are you going to tell them to have them ready for Monday? We had a chance to make a statement. We didn't do it. But it's a quick turnaround. This is league play now. You can't harp on it. we got to learn from it. We'll watch film tomorrow. We'll practice, then get ready for Central Connecticut. So practice and film. We'll practice, and then the film after, after practice is all about Central. So we'll spend about 45 minutes watching this film, seeing what we did wrong, and then go from there. Coach, thanks a lot. Congratulations on a hard-fought game, and we know that we'll see you back in action ready on Monday after the women start at 5 o'clock. The men will follow that game on NEC Front Row. For now, back to Randy Brochu.